Being able to give a child a temporary home, whether that's for a few months or just a few nights, is rewarding, but can also feel a bit daunting. When we first started fostering, I, I didn't really know the kind of young people that were going to come in. Um, and I was really surprised because they were children. They were, you know, it sounds really silly. I, I don't know what I expected, but they were just children and they just needed somewhere safe to be in. And it, it, it is that straightforward. Helen gave up her job as a teacher in Edinburgh before moving to the borders to become a foster carer eight years ago. It, it was as silly as this. I was standing in the living room and there was railings on the opposite side of the road and this big massive sign got put up that said, could you be a foster carer? And I thought, I could actually, I could do that. It wasn't this big grand scheme plan. It, it was a kind of like, I'm not happy here. I'm not happy with my life, with my children. It's not who I want to be. What skills do I have and how, how could it work for us as a family? And the council isn't the only one looking to recruit more foster carers. In total, we've got 24 families, um, only one of which currently are offering short breaks. We are we're desperately trying to recruit short break carers. And basically, the, the purpose of a short break carer would, would allow the full time carer, maybe if there was an emergency or a, pl or a planned activity, something that they wanted to do, you know, that didn't involve a child or children, then that short break carer would be matched and signed up to the children and they would they would then um, have certain times during the year that they would be caring for their children. So we've got only got one family currently uh, who are in great demand, who are very good, but are in great demand. Helen can sometimes get a call out of the blue, but it's important these children have somewhere safe to go. Some siblings arrived and it was an emergency and they were really little and they came in and they weren't clean and they were starving and they didn't really have anything. The next morning we got up and it was sunny and we went to the garden and they were just heading about like, like proper children, just like children and being kids. And it was like, I remember watching it and thinking, this is like a wave of joy that I'm just getting to kind of ride on top of. Um, and all I've done is I've given them a bed and a safe place. It's, it's not like a special talented gift, um, but they were just heading up and down and they had a football and the baby, there was a baby and he was sitting in my, my lap and he was laughing and, it was, it's just, a, that's another story that for me encapsulates fostering. There is a need for more foster carers in the borders, both long and short term, and they can make a real difference in children's lives. Isla Todd, ITV News.